A man allegedly kidnaps and repeatedly stabs a woman. WOWT 6 News' Brandon Scott joins us live with new information about the Good Samaritan who saved her life. John and Mallory, the victim is currently here at Nebraska Medical Center. And while she is recovering from her injuries physically, listed in fair condition, it could take her quite some time to fully recover from the trauma that she's experienced. Sarpy County Sheriff's investigators continued their search for evidence today in this neighborhood across the county line near 196th and R. The same neighborhood where a WOWT6 news viewer captured this dramatic cell phone video on Tuesday. It shows deputies arresting the man in the red shirt, now identified as 23 year old Dylan Doblin. He's currently in the Sarpy County Jail, facing charges including assault, kidnapping, and the use of a weapon to commit a felony. Yesterday, Doblin allegedly stormed into a home daycare near 156th and Giles using a kitchen knife to assault and abduct one of the employees, Nicole Swerko. She said, I've been stabbed, I've been stabbed, and I could see the blood on her. Bob Buckner was on a road trip yesterday when he saw the victim jump out of the suspect's car. He knew she needed help, so he opened the door to his vehicle and let her inside. The suspect chased her, wielding a knife. It looked like just like that one off a of psycho off the movie, just like that. Big knife? Big, 12, 15 inch. Buckner sped away with the victim, and the suspect followed, trying to run Buckner off the road and even ramming into his vehicle before finally giving up and running into the neighborhood where he was eventually arrested. Buckner believes the suspect had one brutal motive. He had that look that. He was going to kill. I mean, there was no doubt about that. He wanted to kill her bad. And as the victim continues to recover here at the Nebraska Medical Center, Buckner tells me that a member of her family reached out to him and thanked him for saving her life. And he isn't the only hero in this story. In fact, a group of four Nebraska Furniture Mart employees were on the road when all this happened. They saw the victim needing help and they rushed to her assistance. I spoke to one of those employees today and he told me that her family has also reached out to them and said thank you. Now stick around because coming up at 6.30, we will tell you what is next for this suspect as well as some disturbing new information we've learned about his past. Reporting live with photographer M.H. Danker, I'm Brandon Scott, WOWT 6 News.